So, and what do you think of the situation of Canelo um, against Triple G? That actually they said that you know, with the gloves, that they're not tested first. You know, they want to use some type of gloves in this fight, but they've never been tested. So, what do you think of that? Well, in the end. It has to be uniform. The commission's got to look at those gloves and make sure it's a level playing ground for both guys. So, if you want to bring a different type of glove in or something, obviously it has to be tested to make sure that, you know, what gloves are for in a fight um, is obviously to make sure that one person doesn't have an advantage over the other. So you don't want one guy to have uh, a glove that doesn't have as much padding. And yet, and yet, with that being said, there's different gloves that are approved. There's puncher's gloves, boxer's gloves, and um, different gloves. Grants are different. They all have a different feel. And if you're a slugger and a guy that likes to punch hard, he likes to use a different glove than maybe a guy that's real fast. Yeah. But um, either way, the commission needs to know exactly what, you know, the dimensions and, and the weights and the padding and everything is so that you don't want you don't want anything serious to happen in this sport. When somebody gets hurt bad, nobody wants that. It's bad no, nobody it. wants that. You know, it's always for the safety for the fighters. You know, because mm -hmm. a lot of people they've been criticizing um, Abel Sanchez that he's crying over you know Canelo's team because they said oh you know he's he wants to use some type of gloves that they're never been tested for. You know, I guess they have to follow certain rules from the commissioners and and of course you know. Las Vegas is something, you know, different than how they work. So why not test them? What's the problem? It doesn't take long to do a test on a glove, mm. you know, and if Canelo can use the glove, UGG can use the glove. So if you feel the glove gives an advantage, you got a chance to use the same glove. But there's a situation where one fighter feels he has an advantage with a certain type of glove than another fighter. Mm. So I Why doesn't GGG want to use that glove? if they feel that there's an advantage to it. That's a good it's question. because it's a different style fighter using a different style of life. There you go. That's something that, you know, a lot of people, they probably, they don't know, but, you know, I, I guess, you know, there has to go, you know, by the rules. And, and, and the same thing that you just said, it. you know, if the fighter use, if one fighter use the same glove, so the other fighter, it has to use the same glove in order that nobody feel like disadvantage or something like that, right? Um, to my knowledge, mm -hmm. any company that wants to put their glove up to have used in uh, a commission can submit their glove and have it tested and have it go on the list. Um, like I said about products to stop bleeding, different commissions allow different, they have a different list of how many gloves you can use, you know. So I don't know why the, what the problem is. If Arnello's got a glove, why doesn't the company that make that glove just go ahead and get it approved? Mm -hmm. It's not a big deal. It's very interesting topic. In this fight, who you guys are winners and Triple G and Canelo? Oh, I thought you were talking about Porter Garcia. No, well, I would, I would ask you, you know, that. I mean, of course, you know, you in are the in... in the last fight. Mm -hmm. I'll answer your question by saying, in the last fight, I felt that Triple G did a little more. He was pushing the pace. He was uh, moving Canelo around the ring more. Um, and when he got hit. They weren't affecting him as badly as the punches that were hitting Canelo. But now we've moved on. Time's gone by. And there's an old saying that a fighter only has so many wars in him. Well, maybe Carnello, uh, I mean, uh, GG uh, has gone over that amount. And Canelo's still young. I think there's a difference now. I think there's a good chance that Canelo can pull this one out. Legitimate. Yeah, <clears throat> because a lot of people says you know right now <clears throat> a little bit of disadvantage from Triple G. That's his age. Do you agree with that or? You, you say it again. I said a lot of people this say that the disadvantage of Triple G right now is his age. That he's you know eventually 36 and Canelo is younger than him. So that's a disadvantage. So Triple G's got a disadvantage over. Yeah. Canelo. Yeah, and I agree with that. I mean. This is the sport where the window closes quickly. I mean, especially in these smaller weight classes, you know. At least in the larger weight classes, you can carry your power into it. But, uh, yeah, I, I've, I've got to go with Carnello. And I like both fighters. Yeah. Um, I've got nothing more for one than the other. I've always liked Triple G. I've always liked the style. I like his come right at you. 
not back up, throw, take it, and keep coming. He's just got a knack for taking punches. I will tell you that uh, he takes a punch about as good as anybody I've ever